All right, boy, do I have a story for you guys today. Today's story time is a very recent one. So recent that I'm telling this story time like five minutes after it takes place. Yeah, that recently. Uh, I haven't told a story time this recent in a long time. Now, before I jump into today's story time, today's story is directly correlated to the last video I uploaded yesterday. So I'm going to put that first link in the description. Go watch that first if you haven't already, because this one is a complete like part two to that. And you really won't understand this fully if you don't go and watch that one first. So anyway, now that I've gotten that out of the way, uh, yeah, I guess let's just jump right into today's story time. I hope you enjoy it. Leave a like on the video if you do, and let's just do this. So today's story time is about my ex-girlfriend and her mom, to be specific. Now, like I said about them in the previous story time, you know, her mom was a little bit on the crazy side. So anyway, yesterday night I uploaded that video about them. I didn't think much of it. Went about my night. Nothing really happened. And then this morning, I wake up, everything all starts off as a normal day, I get up out of bed, I take a shower, I get ready for my day, just enjoying my day, and all of a sudden, I get a message on Facebook. I don't use Facebook anymore, I barely use it, I just have this old account that I forgot to deactivate that some people from my town message me on from time to time, and I guess I just kept it up because in case someone needed me, I'd leave it there. And apparently in this situation, somebody did, and I see the DM, and I immediately recognize the name, it's from my ex-girlfriend. That same ex-girlfriend I made a story time about yesterday. So I'm like, okay, this is going to be good. Let's see what she says. So I open up the message and it says, Austin, I need to talk to you. Please call me. Here's my number. So naturally, I'm like, okay, I'm going to call her. I want to hear what she has to say. So I call her up. She answers the phone. She's like, hey, Austin, what's up? I'm like, hey, long time, no talk. She goes, yeah, how you doing? I was like, good. How about you? And she goes, not that good. Really not good at all. And I could just tell by her voice and the way she was talking, she was really in a bad mood. And I just knew she was about to mention my YouTube video. And sure enough, next thing she said was, hey, so me and my mom saw your YouTube video yesterday and she's pissed. And I was like, oh yeah, did you? She's like, yeah, first of all, why would you do that? Why'd you make a video about that? Like that was between us. And I was like, I just thought it was a funny story time. Like you didn't believe me and it was just this crazy experience and I wanted to talk about it on my channel. I made sure not to include your names or anything. And she was like, yeah, I know, like, I appreciate that. I'm not really mad about the video. It's just more about how angry my mom is. Like, it's really annoying. And I was like, yeah, I understand. Like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, like, piss her off or anything. I didn't think you guys would see it, honestly. And as we're talking, I realized something. She's not mad about the contents in the video or the video itself, really. And she's also not mentioning the fact that I talked about her mom trying to kiss me in that video. Like, in that story time, I talk about how, you know, she didn't believe me and we ended up breaking up over it. But this time around, we're talking on the phone about it, and she's not mentioning that at all. It's almost like she believes me now. So that was interesting to, you know, see. But anyway, we're talking, and she goes, hey, can I put my mom on the phone? Can you talk to her? I was like, yeah, why not? So she puts her mom on the phone, and her mom starts this phone call off by going, Austin, what the fuck are you thinking? And I was like, oh, hi, like, how you been doing? <laughs> like, I didn't even know how to respond. And she goes, why would you upload that video? I was like, I just thought it was a funny video, thought it was entertaining, thought my fans would like it, they seem to have liked it, got pretty good ratings. She goes, yeah, that's all you care about, isn't it? Ratings. You just lie for ratings. I was like, oh, I think we both know I wasn't lying in that video. And she just goes silent. And I was like, yeah, exactly. You know I'm right. And she just hangs up on me. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, that was weird. Now, I thought that's where it would end, right? I thought that would be the end of my ex-girlfriend and her crazy mom. I thought that'd be it. But I was so mistaken. So just so wrong, okay? So fast forward like an hour later, I'm just in my room working on something on my computer, and all of a sudden, I get a knock on my door, and I'm thinking to myself, it better not be who I think it is. It's no way it's her. There's no possible way. Like, I just moved. I have a new address. Nobody knows it. There's no way she could find it. And uh, sure enough, I go downstairs. I look through the little peephole, and it's my ex-girlfriend and her crazy mother standing on my porch waiting for me to open the door. And I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, I have two choices. I either answer the door and deal with the craziness, or I uh, turn around and climb out a window and leave for the night. Now, I'm going to be mature, so I open the door, and I look at both of them. And I was like, hi, how you guys doing? And her mom immediately steps up to me and goes, hey, Austin, I'm not doing that well. You know why. I came here to give you this. And she hands me her cell phone. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, you want me to take your phone? She goes, yeah, someone's on it. Talk to them. So I put the phone up to my ear. I'm like, hello, this is Austin. And it's this random woman's voice. She goes, hey, Austin, my client's very upset with your recent YouTube video. And we just want to let you know that we are prepared to take legal action on you if you don't delete it immediately. You have 24 hours. Now, I've been in similar situations before where people try and get, you know, quote unquote, lawyers involved. 
And usually it's almost always bullshit. Usually it's just, you know, someone pretending to be a lawyer or something. So the minute I heard this sentence, something just seemed off. The way she said it just didn't seem very professional at all. And I just didn't believe that this was a real lawyer. So naturally, I'm like, okay, if you're a lawyer, what's your name? And she goes, uh, I don't need to disclose that information to you. I was like, really? If you were a real lawyer, you'd have no problem telling me your name so I could look you up and see that you're a real lawyer. And she goes, oh, no, don't worry. I'm a real lawyer. And I was like, okay, then where'd you graduate college from? Like, where'd you get your degree? And then she said the most ridiculous shit ever. She goes, uh, I went to law school. That's where I got my degree. I'm like, yeah, no shit. Which one? And she goes, I don't need to tell you that. I go, okay, clearly you're not a real lawyer. Have a wonderful day. And I hang up on her. And I hand the phone back to my ex-girlfriend's mom. And her mom goes, do you understand that is a real lawyer and you will get sued if you don't delete that video in 24 hours? I'm like, okay, what are you going to sue me for? Tell me. Like, what are you going to sue me for? And she goes, uh, defamation of character. I was like, how do I defamate your character whatsoever? She goes, you told people that I tried to kiss you? Like, people at my job could see that video. What if they do? I was like, maybe you should have thought about that before you tried to kiss me. Yeah, maybe that would have been a good idea. And she goes... Austin, I don't have time for little childish games. This is a real world problem and I am prepared to use real world solutions. So you tell me what you want to do. And I'm like, what the fuck does that even mean? And she goes, you know what it means? Lawyers and lawsuits. I was like, yeah, because that person on the phone was totally a real lawyer. Come on, don't even try that. Also, how'd you find my address? And she goes, Google. I was like, how'd you find it on Google? And she tells me about this website that she found my address on and I immediately look it up. And yeah, there was some address website that my address was on. I'm glad she told me about it because I got it removed same day, so that's good. But yeah, after all this happened, I just told her to get off my property because clearly she was just causing a problem and my neighbors were starting to watch, which was really weird. And she left. She left without giving much of a fight, which is good. And I haven't heard from her since. It's been a normal day since then. So far, no lawyers have tried to call me. No fucking cease and desist have been sent out. I'm pretty sure that was a fake lawyer on the phone. And uh, that's pretty much where that story time ends for now. Based on this woman's level of uh, persistence, I feel like she'll be back in some way or form. She'll probably be spamming my email or my phone because I did give my ex my new number by calling her. So who knows? Either way, I will keep you guys posted on the crazy mom saga. I hope it's not much longer than this, but yeah, we'll see. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's story time. Leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy it. Also, my new song, Look Back, is out now. If you haven't heard that, I'll leave that first link in the description. And yeah, feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Peace out. Pay some back. I don't want to look back. I don't want to like that. I've been going too fast. All the girls like that. And the fake ones want to see my pulse go flat. And my day ones know I'm a